Tonight we reveal a story that rewrites the origins of the Filipino people. New genetic research shows Filipino DNA holds secrets stretching back tens of thousands of years. The Philippines was a crossroads for humanity for over 50,000 years. The Filipino genome is a living library of human history, diverse, resilient, and unique. This is the new origin story of the Filipino people. For decades the out of Taiwan model dominated the story of Filipino origins. It claimed that 4,000 years ago, farmers from Taiwan sailed south, bringing language, farming, and their DNA. These Austronesian migrants were thought to have replaced or absorbed the earlier hunter-gatherers. The theory fit linguistic and archaeological evidence, pottery, tools, and languages all pointed back to Taiwan. It was a neat, linear explanation, modern Filipinos descended from these pioneering farmers. This narrative was taught in schools and accepted as fact, but cracks began to show. The model couldn't explain the deep genetic diversity in the Philippines, or the distinct features of groups like the Ada and Mamanwa. These Negrito groups seem to have much older roots. The out of Taiwan theory explained them as remnants of an earlier migration, but the genetic evidence didn't quite fit. The story was too simple for such a complex land. As new questions arose, it became clear. The real story was far more intricate. The out of Taiwan model was based on the best evidence available at the time, but it was incomplete. It couldn't account for the full tapestry of Filipino ancestry. The truth would only emerge with a revolution in science, the ability to read DNA. That revolution was about to break the old story wide open. The simple narrative was about to be replaced by something much richer. The breakthrough came with advanced genetic sequencing. Scientists could finally read the story written in our DNA. When they analyzed Filipino genomes, the results were explosive. The data revealed a history of deep complex mixing, not a simple replacement. The out of Taiwan theory was only part of the story. A landmark 2021 study analyzed over a thousand individuals from 115 ethnic groups. The findings, yes, there was a migration from Taiwan, but it was just one chapter. The islands were already home to diverse groups long before the Austronesians arrived. These groups didn't vanish, they mixed with newcomers, and their DNA remains in Filipinos today. This is the multiple wave or island hopping model. The Philippines was settled many times by many peoples. The first arrivals were modern humans from Africa, ancestors of today's Negrito populations. Other ancient migrations followed, long before the farmers from Taiwan. The Philippines was a vibrant hub, not a remote outpost. Each wave added new layers to the genetic makeup. Filipino ancestry is a tangled web, connecting the islands to the earliest chapters of the human journey. The simple story is gone, replaced by a saga of diversity and resilience. The DNA doesn't lie. It proves the Filipino people have one of the world's most complex genetic histories, and it's a story still being uncovered. The most astonishing discovery? The presence of Denisovan DNA in Filipinos. Denisovans were an extinct human relative, known from a few fossils in Siberia and Tibet, yet their genetic legacy is strongest in the Philippines. The Ida Magbukan people have the highest Denisovan ancestry in the world, about 5%. This means ancient Filipinos met and interbred with Denisovans, possibly making the islands a Denisovan homeland. The first modern humans didn't find empty islands, they found ancient cousins already living there. Denisovan genes may have helped early Filipinos adapt, especially in fighting diseases. Their legacy endures in the Filipino genome, making it truly unique. The Denisovan connection is a direct link to a lost world, where multiple human species coexisted. It's a reminder, Homo sapiens are hybrids, and in the Philippines, that hybrid nature is especially deep. The Denisovan ghost haunts Filipino DNA, it's a powerful testament to the tangled roots of the Filipino people. Their story stretches back before recorded history, into the myths of human evolution. The Denisovan imprint is a genetic treasure, setting Filipinos apart. It's a living echo of a vanished world. The Philippines' geography, over 7,600 islands, shaped its genetic diversity. Isolation by mountains, jungles, and seas allowed groups to develop unique traits. Some regions became melting pots, others preserved ancient DNA like living fossils. Negrito groups such as the Aita, Agta, and Batak are among Asia's most distinct populations, carrying signals from the earliest migrations. Their isolation preserved ancient genetic signatures, offering a window into the deep past. Each island, and even regions within islands tells a different genetic story. 
The Cordillera people differ from coastal groups, the Samabajau are adapted to the sea. The islands acted as filters, allowing waves of people to arrive, then evolve separately. The result, the Philippines is a microcosm of human diversity. Its geography created a human landscape of unparalleled complexity. Ancient echoes still resonate in the DNA of its people. The archipelago is a living laboratory for human evolution. Here, the past is always present. Archaeology backs up the genetic story with stone and bone. In Palawan's Taban Caves, fossils of Taban Man date back at least 16,500 years, possibly as old as 47,000. This proved modern humans were in the Philippines long before the Austronesians, but the biggest surprise came in 2019. Homo luzonensis, a new human species, was discovered in Luzon's Kalau Cave. These small-bodied hominins lived 50,000-67,000 years ago, alongside Neanderthals, Denisovans, and early modern humans. Their existence raises questions. How did they get there? Did they meet Denisovans or modern humans? The Philippines was a stage for multiple human species, not just Homo sapiens. These discoveries anchor the genetic story in physical reality. Taban Man links to the ancient DNA in Negrito groups. Homo luzonensis adds another layer of mystery. The islands were never empty, they were a crossroads of human evolution. The caves whisper of a dynamic diverse world. The story of the Philippines is one of coexistence, survival, and constant change. 4,000 years ago, the Austronesian expansion brought skilled seafarers and farmers from Taiwan. They introduced rice agriculture, domesticated animals, and new languages that became dominant across the islands. Their migration was a maritime feat, spreading from the Philippines to the Pacific and even Madagascar. The Philippines was a crucial gateway in this expansion, but the Austronesians didn't simply replace the original inhabitants, they mixed with them. Modern Filipinos are a blend of ancient hunter-gatherers and incoming farmers. The amount of mixing varied by region, creating a patchwork of genetic legacies. This fusion shaped Filipino society, culture, and resilience. The Austronesians brought new technologies and beliefs but also learned from those already there. The result, a dynamic, adaptable society rooted in both old and new. The Austronesian wave didn't erase the past, it enriched it. Filipino identity is built on this deep, creative mixing. The story is one of blending, not replacement. The story of mixing didn't end with the Austronesians. For centuries, the Philippines was a trading hub, absorbing influences from China, India, and Arabia. But the most transformative wave came with Spanish colonization in the 16th century. Spanish rule brought Catholicism, new governance, and a social hierarchy. Spanish soldiers and administrators left a genetic mark. Many Filipinos today carry traces of European DNA. The Spanish influence is visible in language, food, names, and traditions. Surnames like Garcia and Cruz, Fiestas and Baroque churches all reflect this blend. After Spain, American influence added another layer. Through all these changes, the Filipino core endured, adapting and transforming each new influence. The Spanish legacy is a reminder of both pain and resilience. It's now woven into the fabric of the nation. What does it mean to have the world's most complex DNA? It means carrying a story deeper and richer than almost any other. The Filipino genome is a living mosaic, assembled over 50,000 years. It echoes the earliest modern humans, the Denisovans, the Austronesians, and countless traders and colonizers. This diversity is the source of Filipino resilience. For millennia, Filipinos adapted, survived, and thrived through constant change. Their identity is built on unity and diversity, a nation woven from a thousand threads. Today this legacy is seen in faces, languages, and traditions. The Filipino is a living testament to our tangled, shared human roots. Their DNA is a map of endurance and creativity. The science has rewritten history but it also affirms what Filipino culture always knew. The Filipino story is a celebration of survival, adaptation, and the beauty of mixing. It's a masterpiece of human history, alive in every Filipino today.